So this is Jasmine. Her and her sister Gwen has just had an assignment to listen to a stone person and ask for specific details on the medical condition of our dog, Maya. So Jazz, can you tell us what you've discovered from that stone person about Maya's health? Okay, well, Maya, she's been having some stone problems and she has digestive problems and sometimes like she'll throw up and stuff and um like her sometimes like she her joints aren't working so well so sometimes they it's harder for her to walk and she's sometimes she gets really tired and she's and she's kind of lonely too because like her special person goes to work special person isn't there. So, um, she... How was your experience talking and listening to the stone person? How did you do that? Well, I kind of just sat with the stone person and put my hand on it, and I just listened with my heart, not my brain, and I think that if you try to, like, think logical then it doesn't it doesn't work as well Cause, gotcha because when you're thinking logically you're just like oh yeah well i'm talking to a rock what's that what's that all about like that's, but if you don't really think anything and you just like think of what you're trying when if you're trying to contact your dad you're just like okay picturing my dad instead of why am I trying to contact my dad through a rock? Yeah. Um, but the stone people are really powerful, and they can talk to other stone people. And like, hmm. if your dad's like, say so you're here in Canada, and your dad's like in Australia. Yes. Then you can ask one stone, like the one on my necklace, and it can pass down all all the way to Australia. Holy and crow! Can give your dad the message. That's amazing. Would you recommend this exercise for other kids or other adults? Absolutely. I think everybody needs to learn how or relearn how to um, how to talk to stones and use stones as walkie-talkies instead of little micro blockers. Um, okay, thank and you. I think that you already know how because in your last earth walk you you've learned and you just need to remember because that's because it's kind of a pain to relearn something you already know. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jazz. And we next to Gwen. Gwen, how was your experience um, listening to the stone person? How did you feel? It was good. Um I felt like it was kind of magical, and I was actually doing it with this exact stone. Oh, that one. And this stone said, was very precise and picky, and he said, I'll only tell you if you take me home. Oh. So now I have to take this stone home. You have to keep your word, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. And, um, what information did we get about Maya? What her health? We got that her back will sometimes hurt. She gets really, really lonely because mm -hmm. her person goes away. Yeah. Um, and she, when we have classes, she, um, gets really happy about it because all the kids come and they usually like to pat her and stuff but yeah. um and how's her tummy do you think it's um it's really sick and she has digestive problems and yeah it it's not working out so good for her I think we need to say some prayers for her? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for the interview, and thanks for teaching us. Would you recommend this 
exercise for other kids and adults. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you.